how to customize menu bar in Mac. If you are using MacBook Air, MacBook Pro or iMac, the steps are going to be same. Now currently you can see I have kept many options in menu bar. So if you want shortcut options to be there on menu bar for that, you can simply open system settings. You can find that in dock or else you can select Apple logo and then system settings. Now once you open system settings, you need to select control center option over here and on the right hand side, you get multiple options to choose from. Now let's take a look one by one. So first option is Wi-Fi. Currently you can see I have selected show in menu bar, which is why Wi-Fi option is over here. But if I select this drop down and if I select don't show in menu bar, now you can see Wi-Fi option has gone. So let me keep it once again. Now the next option is Bluetooth. So if you want Bluetooth to appear in menu bar, you can simply select this drop down and you can select show in menu bar. And now you can see Bluetooth icon has appeared on menu bar. So you can directly select Bluetooth from here and you can select Bluetooth settings. If you want to turn on Bluetooth or if you want to turn off the Bluetooth, you can directly do it from here, right? So that's how you can keep Bluetooth in menu bar. So let me keep it off for now. Similarly, you can select airdrop option. You have focus option over here. You have stage manager option, screen mirroring, display sound and now play. So you can choose all this option and you can, you know, customize uh, it as per your requirement. After that, if you go down, if you continue down, you can see uh, you can also keep accessibility shortcut. So you can keep here in menu bar. So show in menu bar, toggle is off, turn it on and now here, you can see the accessibility option is on. If I turn it off, it is gone. Now, if you want accessibility shortcut in control center, you can turn on this toggle. And now if I open control center, you can find accessibility shortcut over here. But if you don't want, you can turn off and now you can see it is gone. Similarly, you can uh, choose battery icon to keep it in menu bar. If you want percentage to be shown, you can turn on this toggle. So you get multiple things over here. After that, you have hearing option fast user switching option. So if you want to switch between users, you have that icon here as well. So you can choose account name, full name. Now currently I have kept it on icon, but if you want to keep it on account name, if I select account name, you can see it will show account name, right? So let's keep it on icon. After that, you can see you get multiple options. At the bottom, you can see you get an option of clock. So if I select clock option over here, if you want a digital clock, you can select this. If you want an analog clock, currently you can see it is digital. If I select analog, you can see the timer has changed. So you can choose as per your preference. You can also choose if you want to show AM or PM or not. Uh, you can use 24 hour clock. So you can turn this on and you can start using 24 hour clock. And to save the changes, you need to click on done option. Similarly, if you want menu bar to be visible all the time, you can, you know, select this option automatically hide and show menu bar. You can select this drop down and you can keep it on never if you want menu bar to be visible each and every time. But if you don't want menu bar each and every time at the top, you can select this drop down and you can select always and you can see menu bar has gone. But whenever you want to access it, you can point your cursor at the top and menu bar will appear. So yeah, this is how you can customize the menu bar shortcuts or menu bar as per your requirement. If you find this video informative, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.